for my new comfort zone, my new comfort zone, Amon Kapoor. Through the sounds of the African drums penetrates words of very deep wisdom. And those words are as follows. When the sun rises every morning in Africa, a gazelle wakes up only to discover that it has to run fast, otherwise it will be killed. Every morning in Africa, when the sun goes up, a lion too wakes up, only to discover that it has to run faster than the slowest gazelle, or it will starve. So it doesn't really matter whether you are a gazelle or you are a lion. When the sun goes up, you better be running. Mr. Contest Chair, fellow Toastmasters and dear guests, I fell in love with these lines around the time when I received my report of the annual physical that I've had last year. I could not understand a word of what was written here, but I was told that some of the numbers are not looking very good, and I had to make a lifestyle change. Apparently, my workouts and my diet had not really impacted upon my, apparently, my cholesterol numbers. So at that point of time, I thought of running. But when I truly wanted to jump into running, I was surrounded by all the limiting beliefs, the red alerts, and warnings. Aman, you're not that young anymore. You know something? Sometimes when you're running, you can collapse. You can even get a heart attack. Running can be very hard on your knees, eh? What about your joints? What about your lower back? This Aman heard everybody most patiently. But I lived up to my reputation of being stubborn. This is what I had to do. I had to do two things to get into running. First, run. Second, I had to do some research. So I researched about hydration and the importance of having water and fluids. And in my training schedule, I created a special provision for an occasional beer once in a while. <laughs> Smart guy. <laughs> I didn't have to get rid of my whole wheat pasta, which I relished because complex carbs is the name of the game. See, there is always a silver lining. Always a silver lining. I had to research about how to run, how much to run, how often to run, run far, run short, run fast, run slow, whether to run in shorts or not, whether to run in shoes or not. In the process, I discovered a 10-3 rule of endurance training. The good thing about the 10-3 rule was that you take your weekly mileage and you increase it only by 10% and you stay there for a period of three weeks. So for example, if you run 10 miles in a week, you increase it by 10% to 11 miles and stay there for a period of three weeks. This way, you're not jumping into running too much too quickly, and therefore you are also preventing the injury. See, I'm already out of my comfort zone. <laughs> I also changed my role model, believe it or not. My role model today is an 85-year-old ultra runner who's also a motivational speaker. Her name is Helen Klein. Helen ran her first 10 kilometers at the age of 55, only to discover that she can run 500 kilometers through the state of Colorado. She ran 147 miles through the Sahara 
desert. She ran 155 miles through the Himalayas. She trekked up to the first base camp of the Mount Everest. And she did all this, all this, in her late 60s, 70s, and even early 80s. And when you ask Helen, Helen, how did you do all this? All she has to say is that I focus on my next step, on my next step, on my next step. How can the world be so humble? Mr. Contest Chair, fellow Toastmasters, I have only done about a thousand kilometers in the last six months, but each time when I go out there to run, I feel like a million bucks. I truly am lost in the zone. At that point of time, I'm not bothered whether I am going to lose my cholesterol levels or not, whether I'm going to lose some weight or not, because I know I'm getting there. After doing a thousand and six months, I also understand that there is more than how the human body looks. It's also about what the human body can truly do. And at this juncture, all I can say is that with this thought, I feel safe. I feel secured. Why? Because I am getting into my new comfort zone. Mr. Contest Chair.